Okay Ed, how are you going? First I'm going to show you how to format your um, format all of your classifieds before you import them into InDesign which is going to be fairly important. So first of all there's something I'd like to do is uh, click up here to show you hidden characters so you can see all of these separate little um, enter spaces which you put in there or you got straight from the web um, we can't have any of those when they come into InDesign because InDesign already allows for um, the styles which I've created for you already allow for all of these extra spaces which you have uh, built between your lines they're built into any paragraph style that you have so first of all um, I've got a well I've got a macro built in the one that I um, will send through to you shortly actually um, but what we're going to be required to do the macro will go through and actually remove all of the bad formatting that is in here which you'll often get if you um, copy from the web um, also little things like down here where there's the extra like double spaces and things we want to remove all of that because those will become a lot more obvious with justified text in InDesign so uh, and also these hyperlinks we want to get rid of those sort of things in there as well um, so basically uh, what we're going to do I'll just do a small section um, but we can just we'll just take say uh, like vehicles uh, all the way down through to um, let's say motorcycles and all-terrain vehicles so I'll just hold in shift and select all of that so let's just go copy now I'm going to flick over to I've got this classifieds for import this is one which um, I've sent through to you but a new one I've done has a macro built into it so let's just remove all of this uh, this is what I had just in here, had in here before but let's just delete all of this here and so I've got the dummy filler ads just up the top and I'm just going to paste that other text. So we've got all of this here which has you know all of these extra double spaces in between it's got these headings all this sort of thing. <clears throat> so two things we're going to achieve here is basically one we're going to remove all of the um, the extra spaces and extra paragraphs which are in here like these. Um, double spacing we're going to remove we're also going to get um, apply the styles uh, like over here <coughs> excuse me classifieds heading classified heading 2 and also the um, the classified body uh, regular Spartan which is what is in InDesign. InDesign will actually recognize all of these character styles which makes it a lot easier than reapplying them all once we get in there. Um, okay so basically what we want to do is I want to you can do this in InDesign if you prefer this is how I prefer to do it so we'll see how we go. I want to go and select all of my level 1 headings which is going to be uh, vehicles um, basically then actually no the best thing to do sorry I'm just going to go through let's just call all of this um, clear formatting first of all to get rid of all of any other bad formatting that was in there I remember you said that there was some fonts missing in the other times so Arial and something else that's because it was still sitting in this in these um, in this document before it was imported that's how it got into InDesign in the first place so we go clear formatting um, and now we want to make it all regular Spartan so now that we've got it all as regular Spartan you'll notice that there's that extra gap that sort of come in there as well so what we want to do is get vehicles um, and then each of the ones which were level 1 headings if I hold in control I can select multiple ones so I've got vehicles, auto parts, um, boats, trailers, motorcycles and all-terrain vehicles all of those then I can supply as level 1 headings right just with that there you can do them one by one and you'll notice it still it shows that it's selected there and for the rest of these it's showing its regular Spartan so now I want to go through and the reason I did all of them as regular Spartan first is that obviously it's a bit easier than doing them there's more um, instances of regular Spartan than there are of the other headings so okay so now I just want to go through and quickly get <coughs> all of these other ones so cars, vans, trucks, I'm just holding in control as I click, jeeps, and that should be it. So we'll just put all of them as classifieds heading 2. Now that we've got all of those, if you want to, you can actually just see, if I change this from available styles to just uh, formatting in use, it'll just show you that I've got only using those three, heading 1, heading 2, and regular Spartan. Okay, so now that we've got all of those, you see there's these extra spaces. Now they'll come through into InDesign if they're left as they are. So I just want to go up through to 
tools, macro, macros. Oh, no, I'll just pull it in here. I've got this layered executive classifieds, so I just want to run. And that's just gone through automatically and gotten rid of all of those extra spaces. Um, you just want to go have a quick look just to make sure that there's none in there which have snuck through it somehow. Um, but that all looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is then just save that. Save as. And I'll just put this in. This is in here. I'll just put it into... Oh, let's just make a new folder here. We'll call it... Um, tutorial. Okay. So classifieds for import. I'll just put that into there. Now it has to be closed for InDesign to pick it up. So let's just close it right now. And then we'll take it from there.